Hey what's up guys, it's Alex and I'm back with another video review. This time I'm going to be showing you um, Masters Azora version 2.2.5.7. This is his latest uh, version of his Azora ROM. Um, he just released it today, January 1st, uh, 2011. A uh, nice little New Year's present from him. Okay, so basically we're going to be going through every little detail about this ROM. And I'm going to try to help you decide whether or not uh, it's a ROM worth flashing. Now, for from now on, all of my little video reviews of ROMs, I'm going to be uh, basically giving the ROM a score at the end. And I'm going to be scoring the ROM based on four categories. And it will be based on speed, features and functionality, which will go together, aesthetics, and network and battery, which will go together. Um, each of those categories, I'll give them a score from 1 to 10 with uh, 10 being the highest, and then the end will average out the score from the four categories to give you a score for the ROM as a whole. Um, I decided to go with a 1 to 10, 1 to 10, um, a 1 to 10 system instead of a 1 to 5 because it gives a little more room for differentiation, like uh, as opposed to just, you know, cut and dry a 4 or 5 in that system, you can actually do, you know, a 9 as opposed to an 8 or a 10. So, all right, let's get right into it. The first thing we want to talk about regarding this ROM, uh, the first category we'll talk about is speed, okay, because everyone, everyone, I think that's the main priority for people when they're flashing ROMs, and, it, and it's all just to make their phone faster, and especially in the sense of the vibrant that comes, um, you know, somewhat laggy out of the box when you buy it new, um, you know, we flash these ROMs to make sure we can get the quickest experience we possibly can. So, first thing, speed, opening and closing apps in this, um, in this ROM is very quick. As you can see, when I just open an app and press home right away, open another app, everything just loads really quickly, okay? Now, you know, uh, that's a bad example because the market requires data, so now you're taking into account data, but when you're launching apps like messaging, um, the launcher, and you're just like opening apps, everything opens up very quickly, pressing home and going back, uh, opens, um, open and closes very quickly, camera app opens very quickly, once again, so very fast there. Uh, scrolling throughout, scrolling through the home screens, scrolling throughout the UI, uh, everything is uh, very, you know, pretty fast there, no little hiccups, none of that anywhere, and um, see, just scrolling down the notification bar is very quick, very smooth. Um, we have very fast transitions, okay, so transitioning from, you know, screen to screen, from settings menu and back, transitions are very quick, and the animations that go along with it are very quick, okay. Um, the phone actually uh, sleeps and wakes up pretty quick, as you can see right there. So um, that's something that bothered me a lot about the Vibrant out of the box. It just wakes up so slow when you press the unlock button, but this one, this ROM, absolutely wakes up extremely fast. I love it. Okay, and now for those of you who are into scores, um, after flashing this ROM, which uh, has been, is stated in the uh, on XDA that this ROM actually installs Voodoo when you flash it. Um, now despite that, my Quadrant score, um, after a fresh flash coming out of the box, I had a Quadrant score of 994. Um, I don't know what's wrong with that number, you know, then again everyone could just say, you know, uh, Quadrant numbers aren't really that aren't really uh, representing the actual speed because actually this this ROM is just as fast as uh, the ROM I came from, which was uh, Eugene's Ginger Clone 2 or R2 at least. So there's that. All right, we're gonna move on to um, actually. I'll go ahead and give a score for speed on a scale of one to ten in the category of speed. I'm gonna give this thing a nine. Okay, a nine. Now moving on to features and functionality, and I gotta speed this up because these YouTube videos can't be that long. Okay, so features and functionalities. First of all, the notification bar. We have the toggles back on top. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, silent, and orientation lock. All toggles are there, which was missing in Ginger Clone, and uh, I really missed that feature. The battery icon up here actually has the percentage inside, which is uh, I know you can't see it, but it's actually there. I mean, the battery is actually orange right now, and the number is white, so that's really handy. Um, this ROM is based off of Android 2.2 uh, Froyo, and it's also ba it was also built off of the latest uh, Froyo leak from Samsung, the, uh, the official leak uh, JL5. So it's based off of that build. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the keyboards that come as a part of this, the ROM includes four different keyboards. Okay, 
four different keyboards, including for those of you who are wondering, comes with a uh, swipe. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in. Comes with swipe, the gingerbread keyboard, um, the Samsung. I mean, uh, the Samsung keypad and HTC IME. Uh, I guess uh, also known as the Sense keyboard. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, so the messaging app is stock messaging app, so you don't get the nice bubbles or anything like that. No bubble messaging from TouchWiz. Um, the alarm clock. The alarm clock is indeed uh, TouchWiz. Okay, TouchWiz alarm clock. Uh, in the camera, there is support for front-facing camera, as you can see by that button there, right there, to switch to front-facing camera. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, um, comes some apps come pre-installed. <coughs> excuse me, Car Home and Desk Home for use in Car Docs and uh, Desk Docs. Uh, let's see, the Files uh, Manager is the Files app from Samsung, originally included in TouchWiz. Uh, there, the Memo application is back, which wasn't in Ginger Clone. So, I, actually, I shouldn't say back because, yeah, I, I just shouldn't say back. But there you go. Memo app is there. Uh, the Music Player is TouchWiz Music Player. So, a lot of people like the TouchWiz Music Player a lot more than they do, than they do the uh, stock Android one. So, I'm glad he uh, included that. Uh, we have SGS Toolbox. Uh, which is a little app that allows you to add modifications like uh, using your power button as a shutter button for the camera app, stuff like that. Um, now the ROM comes pre-installed with four different launchers. You actually have ADW, Launcher Pro, uh, the Gingerbread Launcher, and Zeme. So you can go crazy with that and choose whatever launcher you like. Okay, and the lock screens. Everyone wants to know about this usually uh, for the different four different lock screens uh, we have the puzzle unlock screen the glass unlock screen the stock android unlock screen and the epic unlock screen so all of the unlock screens from the different galaxy s variants and the stock android unlock screen alright and uh, the, the one and another thing i forgot to mention is that this this thing again includes voodoo so um, uh, you'll see really huge in, uh, in increase in speed overall so I guess that should actually go in the speed category, but yeah, it is a feature, so nice. All right, so features and functionality, this category, we're going to give this thing a 10 because with all of that, what I just listed, um, he basically, in my opinion and for my needs, he hit every little thing. So uh, definitely give features and functionality a 10 for this ROM. Okay, next is as uh, aesthetics. So basically, how ROM looks is uh, also very important to a lot of us, you know. And this whole uh, the Zora ROM, I've never. This is actually my first time using an Zora ROM, and the look of it is just very unique because he there is a very like a very personal theme to it. And uh, in in my opinion, I like it. I think it's really nice. Uh, if you look up here in the notification uh, the notification bar, it's actually uh, gray. You see, gray notification bar. Um, the drop down is transparent black right here. You can't really tell on the camera, but it's transparent. Uh, very nice. And the overall color scheme of the ROM is gray and blue. So if you don't like those colors, um, tough luck. Um, let's see. As you can see, the market right here, the market icon right there is actually blue. So the, the actually the entire market has been themed. It's been changed. Look at that. It's blue and I like blue, so that's just nice. I, in fact, I think it, this blue color makes the market look a lot cleaner, a lot nicer than the green one that comes stock. Okay. Um, as for other things in aesthetics that people might not like, um, is the boot animations. Um, in my opinion, I personally don't like the boot animations. I like like you know uh, the Nexus at, the Nexus S animations. I like that kind of stuff. So, but. His the boot animations here seems kind of sloppy to me. Uh, not to diss the ROM or anything, but I think there's absolutely room for uh, improvement there, or a much cleaner look to go along with the overall mood and feel of the ROM. So um, don't take that personally, Master. I mean that's just, I mean yeah, it's just a little personal preference there. Uh, let's see. Oh, so the font, as you can see, there's a special font going on here. I don't know if you, actually, I don't know if you can see, but uh, the font throughout the UI is a special, uh, is a custom default one that he includes in all of his ROMs, I believe. Um, I personally, I, I like this font. It looks really nice, really nice, uh, good looking to the eye, so that's good. And the icon up there for the 3G logo is an H instead of a 3G. Once again, you can't see, but uh, yeah, it's there. 
All right, so that's that. And so that wraps up aesthet uh, aesthetics. And I would give aesthetics uh, an 8 in this category. Uh, just because of little things like the boot animations, I think that could have been uh, cleaned up a little bit or included something a lot nicer. But once again, that's just personal preference. And I'm only giving it an 8 and not a 9 because um, it, it, there's a lot of room for personal preference there. So, yeah, so I gave it an 8 so that way... If anyone likes anything else, then it could be a 9, but in my opinion, it's an 8. All right, and last but not least is uh, network and battery, okay? Network and battery, um, no drastic improvement here uh, in battery life or anything like that from the previous ROMs that I've come from. Um, I use my phone pretty typically, you know, like everywhere I go, what, what, whenever I'm not doing something, like I'm sitting on uh, in the car or something, uh, in the shuttle and stuff like that, um, you know, text messages surfing the web lightly or not not really lightly I mean like I go through like a billion blogs so after a moderate use given it a 12 hour period to go one day I'll end up with about 30 percent 20 percent sometimes um, but that's fine with me because as long as the the phone can get me through one full day I mean I don't care if I have to charge it overnight so and to me battery, battery life is great and as for signal and network um, same thing uh, not 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 anything super impressive because uh, in certain places where I work, um, there are certain rooms that I feel like should definitely get signal, but I don't get signal at all in them. I can't send a text message. I can't make a phone call. I can't surf the net. So um, until the day when I get like a super, when that happens and I can actually do those things in that one particular room, I'll rate this category higher. But until then, network and battery, I'm just going to give it a nice little 8. Okay. So I mean, I'm going to save the 9 and 10 for something drastic. So, but that's not to say, like, that this ROM is bad. So, in all, after averaging out all the scores that I just gave out to each one of those categories, this ROM receives an 8.75, which is really high, a really high number, I believe. Uh, even though I've never done this um, scoring, the scoring system for my previous videos, um, I had to basically give a, a standard uh, for this first time doing it. So, these numbers are pretty high. They set the bar pretty high. So, Hopefully ROMs that I flash after this and review after this can um, improve things drastically so that the numbers can uh, go higher. Other than that, great ROM, great work. Xura, 2.2.5.7, great ROM. Thanks, Master, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video.